Hey, hello everybody. This is Santa Jerry from Santa Switch Adapted Toys. And today we're going to figure out, I'm going to show you a tool that I made that will help identify which wires in a stereo cable you would use to turn it into a mono cable for switch adapted toys. Now if you're using, you're making for switches, you're going to want to use the, the full length of a cable. And you can get, uh, I buy the cables from uh, a source that a very reasonable price and what you get is a six foot extension cable six foot uh, 3.5 millimeter stereo male to female extension cable so I cut this so that I can use one end for the toys and the other end for a switch so this is going to be how do you identify this to turn it into a mono cable which is the only thing that's really needed for the for 99% uh, of the toys out there. So what I've got here is a cable that I've cut. And I've got the two ends for it. So I've got the toy, I'm sorry, the, the switch and the toy. Now this is going to be interesting because these wires, white, red, and yellow, this also is white, red, and yellow. And off of here is white, red, and yellow. This one here is different color completely, red, black, and blue. But one of these was cut off of here and the other was not. And we're going to figure out which one it was in a moment. And this is why you can't depend on just looking at the color of the wire to determine what's tip, what's sleeve, and what's ring on the cable. So this device here, it's a box that I made up called the Stereo Wire Identifier from Santa Switch Adapted Toys and it's got two LEDs and two possible inputs and inside is a couple of batteries and uh, see if I can pop this open real quick like a couple of batteries and a circuit board with some LEDs and some um, uh, rectifiers, what are they called? Resistors. Resistors on it to make it set up. So that's all the guts on it, but we're really concerned about how it works. So pop that back together. So we have two inputs. One you can plug it in if we're going to test for a switch, and one we can plug it in to if we're going to test for a toy. So let's test for a toy. I'm going to grab the closest one to me here, red, yellow, white. How to use this tester. I'm going to plug this in. We're going to start touching the wires. And we're going to see there's two LEDs on here. They'll light up in a moment, hopefully individually. Ah, there we have a green LED on the right. That's touching the yellow and the red wire together. Let's touch the yellow white and the red wire together and we have a red LED lit up. So we know just by that simple test that one of these is tip and the other one is either sleeve or ring. Because individually they lit up the different colors with using the red wire, we know that red is the tip and white and yellow are the ring in the sleeve. I'm going to ring in the sleeve by the way. Let's take a quick look at that on the on the camera here. When we're looking at a, a, a stereo cable you've got the tip which is the outer portion. The center portion is called the ring and the upper portion is the sleeve. I might be wrong, but hey, for, for, for this purpose, that's all we need to know. There's three different connections there for those three different wires. We need for the ring and the sleeve to be made as one. So on this one we're testing, with the red lighting up, red touching yellow lighting up the green wire, green light, and red touching white lighting up the red light, we know that white and yellow are the ones that we need to twist together, combine, and make 
solid so that when we put this in our toy it works with switches so now I'm going to touch this and both of those lights are going to light up that's what you want to see when you touch it when you combine those two you want to see nothing lit up over here so this one here if these were soldered together would now be ready to go into a toy to make a reliable connection for switch adapted to switch adapted toys so I'm going to set that to the side we can see that we've twisted the white and the red together now so does that mean that the red on this one because they have the same three colors inside that the red on this one can be put over here and the white and the yellow can be twisted together well let's find out let's do that to this one and let's plug it in well we have a problem we're supposed to see zero lights on over here if this is going to be a reliable switch a reliable cable for a switch adapted toy but that's not the case so what happened so let's find out how we can get two wires together and no lights on red and white turns on a light White and yellow turns on a light. So that tells me that if we put red and yellow together, no lights. So on this cable, even though it looked exactly the same as the other one, we're going to twist together. Got to pull the wire out. We're going to twist the red and the yellow together, and now we have both lights lit up when we make the contact this is now if these were soldered together and put down in one connection this is now a reliable cable for a switch adapted toy before I go back to the, the, the cable for the switch let's talk about this one this also has three wires sticking out of it Let's see, I'm going to try and get the, the lighting on this. Blue, red, and black. We have no idea which ones those are. Which is tip, which is ring, which is sleeve. So let's go find out. So one of these is going to be common. Okay, so red and blue lights up a light. Blue and black lights up a light. And I'm going to wager that black and red do not light up any lights. So, on this particular cable, black and red, we're going to put those two together. Now, this is a mono cable. It's ready to put into a switch adapted toy. Reliable. You're not going to have any interference, any problems, because they light. The tip lights up the what would normally be a mono on the other on a regular cable so that's done that is ready to go reliably put into a toy I'm gonna make a switch so we've taken our cable and we've cut it now the reason I buy these stereo cables like this that cost me 69 cents for 69 cents I ended up with a cable that I can put on a switch and a cable I can put on a toy that's a really good deal if you're doing a lot of them like I am so that's where the other plug comes in. Now we can plug this in over here to the mono, to the uh, stereo, and we can start playing the exact same way. Now I said that this was cut off of, this was made it up with one of these, but I don't know which. Not that it matters, but let's find out how we would put this into a switch. Okay, we are not going to put the white and the red together. We are not going to put the yellow and the red together. Let's try, oops, here we go. Let's try white and yellow. White and yellow does not light up any lights. So, with no lights, that's what I want to see. I want to see that. I'll twist those together. This is now a mono cable. Mono cable, because we have two wires that are going to go in and activate it with our switch when we put it into our switches. And we know that all the connections are good because the tip is activating both the ring and the sleeve 
just by touching that together. And so there's our tester. So I'm offering these up to those folks that are hacking toys and working to help, uh, help individuals that need switch adapted toys and switches so that you can make it a lot easier and a lot more predictable to make up your toys. So give me a, give me a shout out. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below and thank you very very much for watching this video. This is Sandy Jerry from Sandy's Switch Adapted Toys.